Hi guys, Oliver here from Smiley Reacts. Here's react to the second episode of Are You Willing to Fall in Love with a Pervert as Long as She's a Cutie? This, uh, this episode is called Indecisive Prince. So bear with me still because I'm still getting used to these characters' names and of course they're not listed on my anime list yet. I wish somebody would fix that, but um, in the meantime, yeah, you'll have to bear with me. I think the main, I think the main character's name was... Uh, Let's see. I thought I just had it. Um, maybe did I just close it without thinking about it? Must have. Uh, Kaiji, Kaiki, something along those lines. So, yes, last episode in the premiere episode, we got introduced to him and the main girls. We also found out like somebody, somebody in that group likes him, and. Left, left him a love letter plus um, <laughs> some panties. Of course, the love letter wasn't signed. It was, didn't say who sent it. So it's up in the air of which one wrote it. But there was like a 10 minute in between of, t like, of time which the letter could be and the panties could have been placed because he had left that room for 10 minutes. At the end of the episode, one of the girls... I, Again, sorry, I apologize, I can't, don't know her name yet, but uh, through a miscommunication, as it were, he thought um, she was going, because he's trying to find out who gave him the love letter and the panties, he's going through all the girls and like asking them essentially like, hey, do you like me? And yeah, she got the wrong idea because uh, he didn't quite get a chance to say what he was as he wanted to say, but she says like, oh, you figured it out and like all that, but it turns out she's, well, how do I describe it? She's not a masochist and uh, all that. She, she wears a collar um, and strips off her clothes, it seems. So that's where the last episode ended, but it looks like we're not jump, like we're not uh, starting off exactly where that scene uh, started. Oh, sorry, ended. Ah, uh, sorry. So, Oliver, let me, like, hang on. Let me just work out my, you know, thinking. I need to think and think words. So, yeah, here we go in three, two, one. Oh, we have that, yeah. You could, um, you know, uh, s slow that down a bit. That's right. <laughs> Her pet. I would. Oh, she is a maxist, per <laughs> but she's a maxist pervert. That's the difference. Yeah, this, this is definitely, there's definitely a misunderstanding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How is he going to get out of this, um... Yeah, okay, he just declines. Fair enough. So, how is she going to respond to that? Uh, I hope we don't get any, uh, subtitles at the top of the screen... ...again. And I swear to God, I better rem start remembering names. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to be in serious trouble with the show.
Yeah, this is definitely going to be an etchy show. Like, uh, obviously it's going to be because of the end of last episode and the start of this episode, but it's, this definitely clarifies that it's going to be very etchy. And I love etchy. Can have a lot of fun with etchy stuff. I think this is one of the longest OPs we have this season. I, this feels long. Then, then yeah, he locked it right. Okay, so she was actually still in the room then. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it can be anyone. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to talk about the other part. <laughs> yeah, they will definitely intervene and lock you up and you'll never be able to go anywhere again. <laughs> Don't need to run in the library. Yukika, Yukika. Hello. <laughs> I can see that. Why are you whispering? It's just still going with the whole thing about that. <laughs> I don't think she cares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that was running a minute ago. Koga. Takahara Senpai. So I'm just repeating the name so I can get them down. Well, that's why you wanted a parfait as well. Yeah. 
You want to go on a date with him? <laughs> uh, she's still there. <laughs> your your re re rebirth. Um. Okay. Rev witch senpai. <laughs> she obviously doesn't really care about her. Mm. <laughs> Face. <laughs> Maybe you should do the wall slam to her. <laughs> yeah, I can see now why she would be upset. Yep, yeah, go on a date with her. You're still playing with those panties, aren't you? You're so... <laughs> Yep, somebody walked in. The sister walked in. Does the sister care that he was just playing with a girl's panties? Or did she not see? <laughs> Be there early. Okay. Isn't that her normal hairstyle, though? She always wears that ribbon. That... Don't you mean as a gentleman? Not as your elder? That sounds weird. It's a surprise movie. Okay. It's gonna be a horror movie, isn't it? Sergeant, what? So, what type of movie is this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was not expecting the English. <laughs> and it's subtitled in their language. What is this? Yeah, well, I saw the... I saw the, the uh, posters on the wall for it. <laughs> it seems to be the only movie that was playing anyway. <laughs> what was that about? So you're happy that you saw this movie? The world's most indecisive king. That would have been some interesting movie that they watched. Would, did, would anything have actually happened in that film?
drafted. And there's a girl looking at them. <laughs> Go look at the swimsuits. I bought nothing. At least you s are saving money. So I wonder who that girl that was watching them is like who is she i can't remember if she was in the club room if she was she was dressed differently Somebody's got to come along and ruin it now. Yep. I knew it. Maybe you should go see. Yeah, we've got some annoying people. Bro, these guys just want food for, just wanted money for food. Oh, well, at least he came and investigated and found her. It wasn't your fault. Uh, in other words, doing a head pat <laughs> and a kiss on the forehead. That's cute. That's cute. That's adorable. I, you need to I guess he just wanted to wash up. So I guess maybe wash your face. So I guess he didn't need to use the bathroom. <laughs> you shouldn't mind dude seriously you you're in a very very awesome place right now yeah that's adorable he's falling asleep racist Basically mixed. Oh. Gracious. Hmm. And as he spoke to her more and more, she opened up more and more, I take it? Until they became actual friends. I feel like I recognize her voice. Maybe I know the voice. What I mean is I know the voice actress from somewhere else. Yeah.
<laughs> well, you can't exactly ask her outright. Do I have to look to you? <laughs> Is putting your fork in in eggs like that, like do do people do that? Like that's what I'm trying to get at. Like I've never seen someone do that before. <laughs> so, Probably not. A bad omen, huh? The door just opened and closed, but nobody walked through it. Hmm. Hmm. Where's this going? She's definitely maybe not Cinderella. Mm hmm. I'm sorry. You want him to become your slave. Not the other way around. You don't want to become his slave. Yeah, it's a weird request. This is the second time that something like this has happened. Uh, no. <laughs> um... I'm, I'm I'm sorry. Oh my! They're panties, obviously. Uh, I wouldn't know. She's crazy. Oh my, I'm, excuse me, what? Okay, she's also a Maxist. <laughs> That's two of them in this place. It's... He's passed out. <laughs> <laughs> you ever did it with panties in your mouth? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and I feel like it ends abruptly. <laughs> like it does like ends right there. <laughs> this is going to be a very, very odd show. A very, very odd and bizarre show. I can definitely tell. It's a shame that this, with this season, with the summer season, most of the shows have got like a rating just below of a seven. So most of them are like, like for example, this one is a 6.91. And uh, 
like a rifter is 6.25. In fact, I think let's have a look while while the ending's playing. Let me just quickly see what the highest rating show of this season is so far. It's. Mm, I'm willing to bet it may be. Could be Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga's got 8.52. Um, what's the one for Fire Force? Okay, Fire Force is 8.06. Okay, so yeah, Vinland Saga has the high score. <laughs> yep. Yep, this is a very weird one. This is a weird one. I don't know what else I can say. This is just insane, but I love it because it's... It's... It's insane. <laughs> the girls, it, like, it seems like, um... Two girls in this show now are uh, machinists. <laughs> One's a machinist pervert. The other one is the little girl. No, I won't say little girl. Sorry, I'll say the petite girl. Blonde haired girl, we were like with the most this episode. Yeah, she's, um, she's something else. I was not expecting that. It just makes me wonder how the other girls are going to interact with our hero here. Um, are they all going to be like this? Are they all going to be back in this? <laughs> oh man, I don't know what else. Like, this, this show, this show, guys. This show. I'm going to enjoy this, I, though. I really am enjoying this. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. In fact, let me, if you guys know the names of the characters, that would really help me out. And just like comment down below the characters' names and please check if somebody's already done it before you do it. Um, like it does get a bit annoying when like multiple people say the same thing. But I digress. Thank you for watching my reaction to uh, Hensuki also known as are you willing to fall in love with a pervert as long as she's a cutie episode two and i will be back when am i back i'll be back in a couple of, in a day or so for the next episode of astra so look forward to that if you're watching astra along with me until then have a good day guys bye